All right, so now somebody said they thought the uh, dark elves oh, and the awesome. okay, and the ice giants were two different species. Species, no, that in in the in the movie right now, what they showing you is they calling ice giants. Though that is the realm of Nern. That is how Nern looked. But and then when they call them ice giants and shit like that. They there is a such thing as, as as ice giants, but the beings that they are showing on that on that movie is how the, them are the dark elves. That's how they look, and then some of them are they don't have red eyes, they have black eyes, and they got white faces with pointy ears. They all tall and shit. They all about seven to eight feet tall. These dark elves, right? But these are the beings that created the sub zero technology. All right. So for you to understand, for you to understand on on the planet Nern, where they are from. Okay, so now when they was on Nern, you gotta remember this is where understanding the their 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 the splicing or the eugenics program that Zeus and Satan was really actually running. This is where that kicks in that because you have to remember that because they were spliced with certain animals, uh the monkey the pig, the lemur, um, well, the snub nose monkey to be exact, the pig, the lemur, um, the dog, all right? Um, remember when I, when I spoke to y'all about um, Satan when he was splicing, Yakub, Satan, Zeus, same person, uh, when he was splicing the cell to get to the mitochondria to weed that out to get that black and that brown germ, where he destroyed the 48 different shades of black, like, that's why I was telling y'all about molecular biology and, uh, and understanding cells and how they work. Because when you're talking DNA, if you want to call it that, or DEA, RNA, and all these, these different titles. Because animals really have DNA. We have DEA. But it, sometimes I say DNA, not to lose y'all. Because no, a lot of people never heard DEA. You damn near can't even look it up. You look up DEA, they're going to put Drug Enforcement Administration or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, because they ain't, you know, Google is controlled by, controlled by the oppressors. Duck, duck, go, all that shit. This is why I keep telling y'all you gotta, you can only, you can, you can use their their information if you know how to research the proper way to to back up things that you meditating on. But to, to really dive into your true history, you're gonna have to sit down with like one of the guys like myself or, or individuals around you that understand this, this truth. You know what I'm saying? And understand this truth and then go within that way because we are, we have to relearn. Everything, you know what I'm saying? They they lied about every fucking thing that they ever told us. So you got to remember that at all times, family. We got to keep that in our mind at all times. All right. So how I was just telling y'all how about um when they taught us about winter, they only taught us that basically winter was when it get cold, when it snow, or these three months in the year. But when you look at the, the 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 formation shapes of ice crystals, which is what we're going to keep looking at, all right? The ice crystals have a certain shape for a reason. And no snowflake is the same. I know y'all heard that before, right? <laughs> That's because they are literally creating this shit on the fly. Every single one, every single snowflake is 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 being created. It's not natural, you know, and we're going to keep getting into why it's not natural. But you got to understand where, how we got to that point. All right. So now when you talking, when you talking this war that took place, right? And I always pause when I get to it because I can literally see it flashing through my head. You know, when I, when I think about this, 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 this great invasion of 1492, when we was warring with them. So when they came to our planet from Nern, the the human beings who they they linked up with the Draconian reptilians, right? So the human beings, the Draconian reptilians and the Pleiadians, they came to our planet through portals in the Caucasus Mountains. All right. So when these beings came to our planet, these Draconian reptilians, you know, they didn't come out and show themselves at all. The Pleiadians came. The Pleiadians came like the pilgrims came with the Indians, right? That's how the Pleiadians came. So I keep telling y'all, we, we, we took a liking to the Pleiadians. 
All right, and the Pleiadians are like modern day white people, but but perfect skin complexions. You know what I'm saying? They walk amongst us and always have since they took over the Pleiadians. A lot of them are your your Sports Illustrated models, and you know, and you know, like I say, those human beings you see with those perfect skin tones and shit, those perfect tans that we we'll call it. Y'all didn't seen y'all didn't seen white people with and Asians with those perfect tans and shit, and it look totally different from regular white people. They skin be pale. Right, them be them Pleiadians. Like I said, a lot of them Pleiadians are, are are your little supermodels and your little your little sports cover models and your sports illustrated models and all that type of stuff. Y'all feel me? So when they first came to our planet, it was almost like a treaty between us and the Pleiadians, and they introduced the human beings to us, who we remember because of what happened with Zeus. But remember, when when Zeus was trying to create human beings on this planet, we whooped his ass. He didn't get to create them here. He created them on earth. So when we met the human beings for the first time, our ass, like, we didn't remember they ass. We was like, what the fuck is that? You know what I'm saying? Because they was looking like, like, you, like they say in the Quran, in the cave. They talk about it in the cave, in the Quran. It's a surah in the Quran called the cave. Y'all should go read it. And they talk about how, they, how hideous they look when they came out the caves. You know what I'm saying? Because... All of the all of the the different mutations and and, and and splicing with animals that that Zeus had did to them, um, it was sad. You know what I'm saying? It was a sad thing for us, especially us understanding like we kind of you know what we did, y'all. We kind of did the shit that T'Challa did. You know what I'm saying? Um. You know, we kind of did the same thing T'Challa did. You feel me? And T'Challa, what T'Challa did was T'Challa let Killmonger into the empire. Didn't he, right? He, T'Challa let Killmonger into the empire. So by letting Killmonger into the empire, he weakened the empire. Right? They should have just killed Killmonger. Feel me? He shouldn't have never had a voice if they wanted, if they didn't want it to go like it went. Because he was still on the outside coming in. But they didn't. You feel me? They pulled Killmonger in. And what did he do? He ended up killing Black Panther and taking over. And then when he took over, he, was a, he, was, he wasn't he was right. He burnt all the flowers so could nobody else take his place. His intentions was right. But when he got to burn like the flowers, I wasn't feeling that shit. I felt him on other things. All right? I felt him on other things. But I didn't feel him on that. You feel me? So, but the point I'm making is that's what we did with these humans. We let them in. Like, when we seen them, they were killmonger. You know what I'm saying? Like, they on the outside. They telling us this story about, and they couldn't even talk. So the Pleiadians who have already formed a bond with these human beings, they, they, they had to speak for them to us. You get what I'm saying? It's for us to know what was going on. So, we just, they, you know, they came to us with this old sob story about how they, they, us, and we looking at them like, how the fuck is you related to us? The same way the fucking Wakandas was looking, the Wakandas was looking at fucking Killmonger. Remember they were sitting on the thing looking at Angela Bassett, all of them was looking like, nigga, how you a Wakanda, nigga? They looking at his ass, what, that nigga, nigga, nigga speaking off, hold on, nigga, we want to hear this shit, because if you say the wrong shit, they was going to fuck him up. There's so many tribes in Wakanda, they could have killed him. All of them, you see what I'm saying? They could have jumped in when he was fighting T'Challa. It's just they had an honor and a code that they was sticking by. But when he came in on the new, they would have killed him. You see what I'm saying? That's why he came with the white dude. You see what I'm saying? He came with their enemy. Because he knew if he would have just walked up in that bitch, what he was on, they would have killed him. So, but when he came, Wakanda embraced him and what he do to Wakanda. Right? Same shit with us. So when these human beings come through these motherfucking... Mountains coming out looking hideous, right? They was looking like 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 cavemen and worser. You see, they couldn't talk, they couldn't stand up, right? They was hideous to look at. They smelled bad because they they animal animal and man. And you're not supposed to mix God and man. You see what I'm saying? They have God have they not even have God. They like God DNA mixed with a lot of animals. A little God, but more animal. Ninety eight percent animal. You know what I'm saying? DNA. So, when we seen them, we assigned the Moors to them. 
and the more started helping them, right? We started doing all type of other little eugenics programs to help them even get to that state of the man firm that they got now. When they came to us, they was in caveman state. We put them in the full man state, the way they call homo sapien now. When they came to us, nigga, they was in Neanderthal mode. You know what I'm saying? And the Neanderthals was the actual separate species of them too that we had to kill. Because them, them bitches was serious. The Neanderthals was a motherfucker, boy. Them niggas, them niggas was reckless. Real life shit. They don't like to talk about the Neanderthals and shit. Them niggas was real life monsters. Nigga, they try to make them niggas look like they was some regular motherfucking... Some, some, now, hell no, nah, nigga. The Neanderthals was, was fucking eating... They was cannibals. They was cannibals, nigga. You know what I'm saying? They was real life cannibals, nigga. They was... Imagine man... Huge white man full of hair, fur, eating motherfuckers and shit. Nigga, that's what the Neanderthals was, nigga. And they was strong as shit. And they was fast. And they was athletic, nigga. Because they had all that fucking dog DNA in them, boy. We had to fuck them up. You see what I'm saying? That's why they didn't no more Neanderthals. We was, they died in that war. See, they don't tell y'all that we was warring with them. They died in that war. The Neanderthals died. But you still got like... Some of what left, like, but the ones you got left, they ain't on shit. You see what I'm saying? It's more like this. They try to be secluded and stay on the low with it because we killed off so many of their species. So now when people start sending Neanderthals over the years, they call it Bigfoot. Shit like that and try to make it seem like he wasn't real and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeti, Sasquatch. Like, no, nigga, the Neanderthals, nigga, they, they originate from when fucking Zeus was creating them. You know what I'm saying? When Zeus was creating them. Let's pull up the human evolution chart. You know what I'm saying? Because for us to understand about these dark elves that created this sub-zero technology, nigga, the whole name, the whole name, like sub-zero, like how we were seeing on Mortal Kombat, sub-zero, that's what it's called, sub-zero technology. Feel me? It's exactly what it is. It's technology. It's not natural to the atmosphere at all. So, I'm trying to love for the, wait for the laptop to load up. But it's not natural to the atmosphere at all, family. You know what I'm saying? Sub-zero technology that these dark elves created. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and like I say, Zeus, when he was on NERN, he was, he was running through eugenics programs. All right, here we go. So, let, let me show y'all something. All right. We got to keep going over this to really... Get a firm hold. Just like in school, when they lied to your ass, they kept showing you that shit. They took you through how many years of lying? To make sure you got them lies, right? So I'm going to keep repeating this shit to some of y'all ass. I don't give a fuck how you feel about it, nigga. Boom. There you go. All right? Human evolution chart. So when he was, when Zeus was trying to create them, he was trying to get them here. Satan. All right? That was his long-term goal. All right? But when he first started, this was his very first creation. It was the monkey. All right? It was the monkey. All right? He was trying to create this the very first time, but he fucked up and created this. The monkey. Okay? Then he doubled back. He kept splicing, and he created this. Notice it's, it's walking a little more upright, but it's still a fucking monkey. Okay? And then Satan, right? Double back. And he created this. Okay? Now, this him right here, this is your Neanderthal. All right? This is the Neanderthals, nigga. Look at what it look like. Do it look like a man? No. But it walks upright. It's a walking, it's a up, walk, right, and it's a monkey walking upright, nigga. Look. Look at him. Look at him. What the fuck is that net? What is that? Look at that. What could that be? You see what I'm saying? Look at that. What could that be, Sway? What could it be, Sway? Boy, they got some little ugly ass uncles, don't they? <laughs> little ugly ass uncles and aunties around this bitch, boy. They be mad. I'll be mad too. That's fucked up. Be yeah, alone. No. So look, anyway. So look at his little ugly ass dope, man. This is a Neanderthal. We had to fuck them up. 
Because they was eating shit. I'm trying to tell y'all, them Neanderthals were some shit. But when they came out the caves, right, this is how they looked when they got to us, nigga. We got them here, and then here, and then here. Okay? This is before us. Before they came to Planet Kai. After they got to Planet Kai. Alright? So they try to show you this shit in school and say this is the human evolution chart. They right. That is the human evolution chart. Y'all feel me? That shit ain't got nothing to do with us. You see what I'm saying? We ain't humans. We gods. So, the human evolution chart, now y'all know what it really re represents. Just like when you're in a science project, you keep experimenting till you get what you want. So, those is experiments. So, that's why when they try to say that, that we evolved from monkeys, no, they came from monkeys. And they didn't even evolve from monkeys. Nigga, the monkey was the first creation. Nigga, the monkey is older than them. The monkey older than them. The pig older than them. All that shit older than them because they come from them animals. Definitely us. You know what I'm saying? But... So when they came out the cave, they was little Neanderthals and shit. You know what I'm saying? We had to get their ass together. So we also, just like in Wakanda, how she was a scientist and she was doing all that because we the original scientist, Nick. So we helped them get back right. That's what the Moors was doing. All right. So I told y'all about how they manipulated the Moors and, and tricked the Moors into giving them the access codes. And there it go. Boom. So they got access to our technology and was able to use it against us. And, and that's how we fell, all right? That's how we got to where we is now. Now, when they used our technology against us, the war started. They destroyed our energy towers. They destroyed our trees, okay? That was our main connection to our power, our trees and our, our energy towers, which is where all your crystals and sapphire, all this shit is nothing but the remnants of ancient energy towers that we used to have. All That's why they work, y'all. If you ever wonder why crystals and shit work, because these come from ancient, these are the pieces. They were blown up. Our oppressors blew up our energy towers that were made out of these beautiful crystals and these beautiful days and beautiful sapphires and rubies and all this shit, right? And that's why they shape like this. All these weird little shapes because they were blew up. Clear signs of an explosion. You can't cut shit like that. I keep telling y'all that. I always tell y'all that. But this is why they work. Now, you think a little crystal work. Imagine a big-ass tower of this shit, nigga. And I know this shit work, nigga. I manifest any fucking thing I want. Whatever I say, thus it shall be, nigga. Feel me? Me and my crystals on the same frequency like a motherfucker. You hear me, nigga? On the real, nigga. We'll tear this bitch up, nigga. Y'all feel me? For real. Anyway. So... Yeah, you know, like, you hear me, family? Like, this is why they worked up. Because we had ancient towers that we poured our intent into. Our intent is still into all these. That's why the shit still work. You know what I'm saying? That's how magical we are. That's how powerful we is. Like, y'all don't have a clue. So, when they when they blew up our towers and shit, in our, and they cut the trees down. They cut us from our source of our, our connection. It's just like if you're on the phone and your ass, your phone dead, so you got it on the charger. If I come and hit the jack, boop, it's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? If I come hit the jack, it's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? My bad. My bad, family. I'm, I'm actually going to put this, this my other phone on the charger. But yeah, if I come hit the jack, it's a wrap, y'all. Y'all with me? Same thing. So once they did that, guess what? We were still warring with them. Okay. So when we was warring with them, that's when they called in for backup because they destroyed our trees. They destroyed our towers. We fell in frequency. So we got smaller. We changed in color, but we were still fucking them up though. Because we still knew basic magic like voodoo and hoodoo and we still knew that basic shit. So we were still in tune with the, with the nature, like the Seminoles. They tell you about the Seminoles and shit. The Seminole Wars, we were still in tune with nature. How the Seminoles used to hide in the swamps with the alligators, nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we in tune with nature like that. Family, what you talking about, nigga? An alligator ain't gonna harm you, nigga. They know who you is, nigga. You scared of him, nigga. For, Cause they put fear in you. But you better go back and look at your history, your ancestors, when they went to war with them Seminoles, nigga. Where was they at? Florida swamps, nigga. Who won't smoke? 
And that's why they lasted so long. Them Caucasians wasn't finna come in that motherfucking swamp, nigga. Them alligators was in that bitch, nigga. And they was hiding in the swamp, nigga, like under the water, nigga. You see what I'm saying? Y'all better go back and look at them Seminole Wars, nigga. But yeah, that's just, a, that's just a small little dose of what we did. We did way more than that. You know, they ain't gonna even tell you to have. You know what I'm saying? They gonna give you one story or two and then contort that shit. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna tell y'all the whole. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, you know, when when we was warring with them, they still hadn't defeated us. We was still fucking them up. So they called in back up. That's when they called in the Dark Elves. All right? And the Dark Elves, all right? And this, because this was a planetary invasion of our realm. All right, so this shit was well thought out. They had thought planned this shit out. Good. All right, so uh, when they called in the Dark Elves, the Dark Elves brought in the Sub-Zero Technology. Okay? And when they brought in the Sub-Zero Technology, that took out so many of our ancestors and so many portals that we had because it froze up shit. It froze up portals. We not used to no code. And Satan is their creator, so he knew that. You got to remember, like, ask yourself this. How could the Dark Elves know that 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 cool air would, would hurt us you would have to understand our anatomy to know that right so you would have to have inside intel to know some shit like that satan is us nigga so they got more than not only is he us he was the head scientist in the beginning he understood he's in a don't nobody understand us better than satan you get what i'm saying because he one of the gods you know what i'm saying like i said somebody goofy ass comment in the comments gonna say he them, them fallen angels you talk about Nigga, nigga, we is the angels, nigga. And when you talking about Satan, nigga, Satan is one of the gods. So, yes, Satan is an angel too, nigga. The gods, angels, electrical beings, those are all names that the, that the Greek <laughs> scholars called us, nigga. And them Greek scholars learned all that shit from who? Us. Feel me? Just because your ass still used to religion and shit and you don't want to accept the truth, don't come on my platform trying to change my shit, nigga. Get your ass out. Take y'all ass to the next, next live with that shit. Don't come in here with your own ideologies about shit on my platform, nigga. Go to the next live with that shit. Family, we don't want to hear that shit. You know what I'm saying? They trip me out, fam, when they do. Y'all, I don't do that. I don't go jump in motherfuckers' lives trying to force my ideology on people. I stay in my shit, nigga. You feel me? I don't go nobody else's shit. I don't run ads on this shit. No, nah, nigga, I kick my shit. Whether it's 400 motherfuckers on here or 50 motherfuckers on here, like... So I don't understand what that be about. That be Autobot shit, y'all. You see a motherfucker trying to force their religion thing. Religion for you. They want to force it on you. Nigga, like, we cool off that in here, fam. We all know about religion. We been there, done that. We trying to hear some new shit, nigga. We heard that, nigga. Let's hear something new. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, like, it's technology, though. You feel me, family? It's technology and shit, you know what I'm saying? The, the sub-zero technology because... What the, the dark elves knew that we follow that we are full, that we are dark matter energy beings, they understood the our the, the biology, the molecular biology of us because Satan was behind them telling them shit. And he he know all this shit. He one of the head scientists. So he they created the, this cool weather and these ice crystals, right? And that's why they got those six hexagon formats, because they never taught you about sacred geometry. So that was sacred geometry I was showing y'all when I showed y'all the actual formation of the ice crystal. You get what I'm saying? Because you need to know that. It has six hexagons don't come from this universe. Six universe. Prisms, six universe. All them, them shapes and shit is not natural. Those are fucking energy traps. Just like this house is a prism. Energy trap. It's an electrical energy trap for your frequency to keep it, to keep it bottled in. You know what I'm saying? So, same thing with them snowflakes. Hexagon. Six-sided. Snowflake breaks down to ice crystals. The ice crystals are what? Hexagon formations. It just said it for you. And how many sides? Six. And I told you why. They ain't going to tell you why I got six. Because it was created in the sixth universe. So how is that? A, well, that's a coincidence. I'm telling y'all this shit about the ice crystals and how they, this shit was technology made on NERN and how they in the sixth universe. And I've been telling y'all this shit. And then we go look at ice crystals and they got six-sided shapes and formations. and Like, yeah, because it's technology designed in the sixth universe just like all the technology we designed in the ninth universe we put we encoded our shit into it nine is in all our shit nigga see what i'm saying 72 demonic forces inside you 72 deep uh feminine energy seven plus two is what nine you know what i'm saying nine ether beings right it take nine months for the for the body of the avatar of a god to be conceived right so that soul can enter it so it can come into this new realm right 
It's nine realms, right? It's it's nine universes, right? It's nine hundred ninety nine planets in each. In, 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 I mean, it's nine universes, right? It's nine hundred ninety nine galaxies, right? In each universe, right? It's nine hundred ninety nine planets in each in each galaxy, right? It's you know what I'm saying? It's nine realms on each planet, right? You know what I'm saying? Nine is everywhere because we encoded this shit into everything. Even in our fucking DEA, RNA, and all that shit. I can break all that shit down too. How much nine pop up. But I'm going to say that because I got a whole lecture I'm doing on the number nine. So I don't want to just do all that right now. But nine is in everything. Okay. So just like we put nine in everything, they put six in a lot of shit. Even though six represents us. But Satan inverts that because he is against us. He is against nature. That's why he tried to use the six. Because his bitch ass is in the sixth universe. Even though we represent 666 because that's our base form. That's our base form here for these avatars. Our true divinity form is the nine, completion. We are Alpha and Omega. All right? So understand that these dark elves, they had help from, from Satan. All right? So that's why they was able to create, to create this cool air, these ice crystals, this, the sub-zero temperatures, where, where it can get, what happens is it gets so cold that it, that, that the cool air hurts electricity. So it causes us not to be able to interact with the planet around us or the realm around us. And it causes the wiring of our, of us to, to malfunction because we are electricity. We are heat. So imagine if, if your engine gets frozen, that your car is not going to move. I repeat, if your car engine gets frozen, it is not going to move. Okay? They freeze us up because we are heat. You can't put out heat, but you can freeze it, though. You, you can't destroy heat neither, but you can freeze it, though. So they can't destroy us. So they freeze with us. All right. Let me show y'all what they did to our ancestors. Let me show y'all um, all the all your icebergs. And I told y'all this before. All the icebergs and glaciers are our ancestors. Facts. Frozen. Literally frozen bodies. Show y'all this. Well, y'all know how icebergs look. I ain't gotta show y'all icebergs. So icebergs, glaciers, those are the bodies of our frozen ancestors. Like when they was battling in war, they literally froze them. You see what I'm saying? The motherfucker. Yeah, froze them, nigga. And that's where all your glaciers come from. Because we were bigger back then. So that's why glaciers so big. You know what I'm saying? They're like, um, Notice that the locations where the biggest portals, up, some of the biggest portals we had were frozen up like Alaska, Antarctica, right? The, those, those locations were not frozen at first. They were all warm. All right? They were all warm. So they were all warm. Alaska, Antarctica, that shit was warm. It wasn't not. Listen, it wasn't one cold place on this planet. It is not cold anywhere in the cosmos. The entire cosmos is warm. Space is warm, nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's not cold nowhere but here. And planet Nern, nigga, don't know other planets go through seasons. We never went through seasons before they landed. I hope y'all do know that, right? We never had seasons, nigga. Ask yourself this. What was the Indians wearing then? You never questioned that, y'all? What was the Africans doing in the wintertime then? Fuck these coats and shit. Now I'm talking about before they enslaved them and conquered them. The Spanish, before the Spanish conquistadors conquered the whole known world. If winter is natural to the planet and the atmosphere, what the fuck was our ancestors wearing in the wintertime then? Because they wasn't wearing coats. It wasn't no clothes. It wasn't no shoes. So what the fuck was they wearing to survive this shit, nigga? Nigga, what was they wearing, nigga? Imagine our ancestors that lived in Minnesota. Minnesota is named after an actual tribe, nigga. Every damn near every state still got the names of the tribes that was on that land, nigga. So you, so what was they doing in the heart of wintertime in 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 Minnesota, nigga? 
They wasn't wearing shoes. How was they surviving this shit? Shout out to LaChandra who just donated to the channel. Somebody else had donated earlier too. Shout out to you. I forgot who it was, but um, I just seen it pop up. I meant to shout y'all out when y'all donate. I'm wrong for that. My bad. But appreciate we appreciate you because you don't have to donate, but if you want to donate, you can. Donate a dollar, two, two cent, ten cent. You could just shed a lot three times. You could dance a lot of different ways you could donate, but let's stay focused though. So what what was the Indians doing? All right. Yeah, we know we the Indians, but let's just let's just talk about we on sub zero technology right now. That's a whole other subject to break off into the Indians like that. So we talk about sub zero technology. Let's just think here. What was our ancestors doing if winter is natural to this atmosphere and this planet? Okay. Our ancestors ain't have no coats. They didn't have no clothes and shoes, wasn't no cotton jeans, wasn't no industrial revolution. Okay? So somebody, please answer for me. What the hell were they wearing in the winter time? How did they survive for so long? They didn't have these houses neither. This is all new. This is all new, y'all. These buildings that we live in is new. They didn't have none of these structures, nigga. No, they didn't. No, they did not. Better go look at history books, man. They didn't have this. So what did we have? Where did we live in when when it got cold? What did we do when it got cold? If I mean, if cool air is natural, this shit should be normal, right? They say this shit natural. They say this shit one of the seasons. Can y'all imagine trying to walk around in New York in the heart of wintertime, nigga? Asshole, naked, nigga. That's the, that's what the po that's what Pocahontas did. Chief Powhatan and all them. The Powhatan tribe, what about Pocahontas? They was up in New York, nigga. They was located in New York, nigga. So Pocahontas was naked, nigga. In the wintertime, nigga, when the snow. And they ain't never get frostbitten to nothing. I'm just asking questions, y'all. Because, you know, they told, they told me the winter was natural. So we just asking questions tonight. We just asking questions for a friend. Somebody said they used the skins of... What? The skins off the animals. LaChandra Kessa Cunningham. Mrs. Cunningham. Mrs. Cunningham. Hold on. Hold on. No, she didn't. Like, I don't... This must be your first time in class, Mrs. Cunningham. You need to look at what you wrote on the chalkboard. I put it on the chalkboard. It's right there on the chalkboard for, for the whole 300 people to see. What? I got to roll up, y'all. Hey, if, if I don't roll up behind that, y'all, I don't know what to do, y'all. So, Mrs. Cunningham, you telling me in, in zero below weather, just some animal skins, go keep a nigga ass from shivering it? Some animal skins. And they said they had TPs, Mrs. Cunningham. They said they had TPs. You up? Oh, let's pull it up on Google. Let's pull it up on Google. Let's see what Google says. What where did the Indians live? What did they live in? What did the Indians live in? What did the Indians live in? They lived in TPs. That, that's what they said. Let's look at what they said, Indy. Hold on, Mrs. Cunningham. Mrs. Cunningham, don't get upset now. I don't want you getting upset. No need to, to hit it with the, with the mad face now. We just making you think. Now look at this. This is what they said. These are TPs. This is what they said the Indians was living in. Mrs. Cunningham and the class. Look at that shit. So you telling me they made it through winter in these. They made it through winter in these. Ain't no heat in that bitch. Ain't no none of that. Ain't no insulation. Niggas, nigga, we paying for heat. We pay for insulation, and niggas still be cold in the crib. It still be cold in the crib. Y'all feel me, nigga? Nigga, I be in this bitch like this sometimes. Nigga, nigga be, hey, baby, turn the heat on. She like, yeah, I cut it on. I'm like, no, you didn't. It's already on 80, but I don't feel that shit on. Then my bad, you right, man. It's already on 80. I'm finna put it on 350 then. Because it's cold in the motherfucker. That's how we be in here. 
Nigga, with heat. So you telling me they made it through blizzards. Hold on. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. So you want me to believe this shit? Let's look at a blizzard. Let's look at a blizzard. Let's just look at one. Let's just look at one. Let's just... Because see, this the type of shit that defies... You know? The things that make you go, mmm. The things that make you go, mmm. So look, you telling me, fuck all, now, nah, fuck all that. See, they be lying to us, y'all, all through our whole life. So, the, so they made it through, they made it through this shit. You telling me, the Indians made it through this shit. Do you see this? Hold on. Look at all that. Look at all that. Look at all that. So you telling me, G. Hold on, y'all. I'm saying, y'all, at some point, y'all, we got to grow up out of this shit, y'all. We can't keep believing these lies, y'all. We got to, at some point, y'all, and Mrs. Cunningham, you, you a goddess. I, you a goddess, so I love you. But at some point in time, man, we got to grow up, man. You know, we got to recognize when we've been lied to. We just can't keep living this shit now. We just can't. We just can't die. Now our mama's been lied to. So they made it through this shit. They was the Indians was in this shit. Look at this shit. Niggas is in cars cold. I guarantee you motherfuckers is in their cars. Look at that. The e look at that. Look at that shit. And that's niggas' houses. Look at that. And niggas got look at niggas got actual machinery for this shit. Look what he got on. So you telling me the Indians made it through all of that shit in these? In these? Uh, you know, crazy they was living in these. You know, if winter is natural to the planet, they made it through the harsh winters in these? Shit. Nigga, we need them then. We need to bring them bitches back. Nigga, no, hell no. Nah. If they got through a harsh winter in them, what we got these for? Nigga, bring them bitches back. Nigga, it be cold in this motherfucker sometimes, nigga. And we paying for the heat, nigga. Paying for heat, we shouldn't even be paying for the y'all bitch ass. So, all I'm saying, if winter is natural, and they got through winter in these, nigga? They got through winter. They got through this, you want me to... They got through this shit right here, nigga. This shit right here, nigga. In these? Are you serious? Are you serious? G. 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 See, this is the shit we don't never think about, y'all. We don't be thinking. We was just accepting shit. So they got the winner. Look at this shit. They got through blizzards, nigga. Whole blizzards, nigga. In these? Gee, come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. But I'll be the one crazy, though, y'all. I'll be the one racist. I'll be the one wrong. I'm the one crazy. Winter natural. How they get through winter time then if, if, if they had winter? How the Indians get through winter, nigga, if winter been here, nigga? If it been winter times, nigga, and blizzards and shit, and you said they lived in these, so they got through winter, nigga. In these? Look how little that... Come on. <laughs> Gee, I will blow that motherfucker down like... They motherfucker like it a cave in. Fuck out of here, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you feel me, Beto? Supreme goddess. You feel me, baby? They got the win. Look at this shit. They want us to believe, baby. They got the winner in these. Look what you got. Right. We in the house. She she under a whole Falcons nigga comforter right now, nigga. And they got the winner in these. Gee, do y'all see how little they is, first off? For who fitting up in there, nigga? You can't fit no whole family in there, nigga. You can't fit a family 
with a with a father, a daughter, and plus two, nigga. You can't get have a dog, nigga. You can't you can't have a none of that shit, nigga. In them, you know what I'm saying? They as tried us growing up. They really tried us. G. We just wasn't never thinking about this shit. Let's see the energy here now. We rising in frequency. You know this shit don't make sense. We like hold on, man. Y'all feel me, family? Come on, y'all. Dog. Let's look at a drawing. So. So, let's look at a drawing, y'all. Look at this, y'all. What they say? This says, Hom the homes of the Creek Indians. Okay, let's look at their homes, y'all. Look at their cribs. So, they got the winter in these, G. Look at them, G. They was getting through winter, G, in them. Are you serious, G? They want us to believe they got through winter in them, G. <laughs> and then people be mad at me, y'all, for having a brain. Motherfuckers be mad at me, though. See, and see, Miss, Mrs. Cunningham... I only put that shit on the chalkboard so you can think about what you said because sometimes we say stuff and we don't be thinking. We just be talking, you know what I'm saying? Think about what you just said. So you telling me, I want you to go cut, I want you to go, Miss Cunningham, I want you to go hunt a buffalo down, right? Right now. Listen, you know, we got all the guns in the world nowadays, so fuck, fuck a bow and arrow. We got all the shit you need to take out some real deal buffaloes around this bitch. Like they said they was doing. You see what I'm saying? With arrows, right? And once you take that buffalo out, I need a favor from you, right? I need you to skin that buffalo. You hear me? And once you skin that buffalo, once you skin that buffalo, I want you to go stand outside your house, Miss Cunningham, because you said they used the skins of animals, right? So, Mrs. Cunningham, once you skin that buffalo... Take your ass outside. You can try it yourself. You see what I'm saying? Go outside, shoot a deer, and skin it. Shoot a buffalo. Skin his ass. Get rid of the little blood and all that shit. Put the skins on. Put, put the buffalo skin on. And then I want you to take your ass outside and stand like he's standing in this shit right here. And let me know how you feel. Standing that shit with that buffalo skin on. You see how he's standing right there? I want you to stand right where he's standing. That nigga is in the snow. That shit up to his knees. Look, look. I need you to stand right there, Mrs. Cunningham, with the, the fattest buffalo ass cheeks you can find on the plane. I want you to go find the thickest buffalo on the motherfucking plane. I'm talking about find a buffalo. This buffalo got to have all the ass and hips in, in, in the Great Plains. This is the thickest buffalo in the Great Plains and, 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 and skin his ass. Right? And right, and remember, we didn't have, they didn't have shoes. So take that skin and put that, that buffalo ass on you. Right? And stand where he's standing, right there, and try to hold a simple conversation like he's doing. With no shoes on. And you let us know. <laughs> stand just like he doing. Look, 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 look. He got, listen, that nigga got on three, four coats, two hoodies, a hat, gloves. He still cold as shit. No, he look cold as shit, don't he? He look, he look cold as a motherfucker out. He look cold as a motherfucker out. Now, he making me cold. I'm about to click off his ass. You see what I'm saying? Let me get him off that slide. Because he making me cold in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? You know? Hold on. So. You see what I'm saying, Mrs. Cunningham? This shit make you right. Stand your ass outside. Because you said... The skins off the animals. And in the way you typed it, I don't see no emojis behind it. So you meant that. You were serious. The skin, and you felt like you knew some shit too. What you mean how they got the win? They used the skins off the animals. <laughs> and I bet she rolled her eyes and shit too. What? <laughs> the motherfucker think he knows some shit. Because for you to type that, you already ain't feeling me anyway. You like, <laughs> you just watching from the beat. Think he knows some shit, huh? Wait, you, you looking for that? She was waiting for that moment, y'all. She was waiting for that one moment to catch me slipping like, oh, I got him. 
He wants to know how the Indians got the winner. Did they use the skins off the animals? What you mean how they got the winner? The white folks ain't got a lot of us, because that's what the white folks told you, Miss Cunningham. They told me the same thing. Okay? You ain't said nothing we ain't all heard. You're gonna stand your ass up in class and they used to skin out the animals. I'm 